Let's do some coaching, and then I might stream Street Fighter Six, or I might have a playoff stream. Yow. Yo. Um. So I would say, how's it going? But we've been talking a little bit. You're at Plat Two. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But you said you felt like. So let me. Uh, it's harder to explain over text. But um. So you were talking about how like you you feel like you almost don't deserve your rank because you're not. You don't feel like the carry in your games. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. And that's, so this is what's basically, uh, I'll kind of explain that whole thing. So first of all, like I said, in, in DMs, um, that's normal. Where like, especially someone like TF, where, cause you said, first of all, you said, uh, you are pulling pressure. You said, you said, I don't force any play and just catch the maximum gold. I, I win lane cons consistently in drawing jungle ganks. Like that is literally, the main thing you need to do to win. I've, you know, I've told you that for a while that like, yeah. that's why we put so much emphasis on that in coaching. Uh, that will take you very far on its own. But um, on top of that, like, you know, there are going to be games where you have to be the carry as well. Uh, and those are going to be the harder ones. And it's basically like you will learn to push your limits as in, you know, being able to do a lot of damage with very low deaths. It's going to be something that'll take time, but that's not, you know, that's not actually what's going to make you climb. What makes you climb is what you're doing to, to go from like, uh, let's say like, uh, like a new account to masters or diamond with 90% win rate, you know, like, like, a, like Smurfs do. That's where you have to have that, like, you know, be the carry as well, because you know how to min max your champ so well. Um, okay. Okay. So yeah, you're doing the, the 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 hard part and the important part. So yeah, don't definitely don't feel yeah. like like if you're playing ADC, it's a little bit different. But still, I've always like even if you're playing ADC, you don't to climb. You don't have to do one v fours, one v fives. You know, it's just it's as simple as doing as much damage as possible in fights without dying. That's like the ADC role. Your role in in league, especially as TF, is to pressure, not die pull jungle ganks and do the utility parts of, of the champ and understanding the macro part, which you're doing. So yeah, if that makes yeah. sense, if all that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not sure about the whole macro thing yet, but uh, the other part is, is understandable. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I have like 65 or 70% win rate in the last 20 games. So I think it's pretty good, but yeah. it's on the, you know, on the hard one, like, like the word we, vote we're gonna do that um, when my my team is not running it down but they kind of don't know how to do i don't know how to adapt to that and that's the game that i usually lost okay. even even if i win lane i don't know what to do after that okay cool yeah and i'm surprised that you said that the previous coaching session helped you so much the whole switching gears yeah. thing um, yeah but I, you'll see. Maybe I, I took that a little too far, and maybe <laughs> I'm starting to overforcing a little. That's okay. That's a constant. This is a very normal thing, like progression, where like you, where you kind of keep going back and, and then back and forth, and then you find the sweet yeah. spot. Yeah, that's like kind of how it goes. But um, let me share a screen, and we'll, and we'll start. All right. <clears throat> um, okay, so you went Comet this game. Let's see the enemy team. Oh yeah, this is a pretty good game for Comet, I think. Yeah, this is a really good game for Comet. Um, okay, let's see what happens. I do like Ghost with Comet, though, because the play style is, like, running running in and out uh, to just throw gold cards and chuck Qs. It's not as much, like, uh, bursting someone down, but, I mean, Ignite does work. But uh, I do lose uh, kill pressure in lane with, uh, with the Ghost and not Ignite. Um, yeah. Like you said, you emphasize a lot that I have to to mm -hmm. win lane, so that's why I, I'm still going with uh, Ghost when I go Comet. Cool, yeah, that's fine. Um, I guess uh, what you'll kind of... You'll learn which, which games you'd rather have Ghost. Um, and like the higher elo you go, where people... Once you get to like high higher elo, I, I would say like masters three hundred LP maybe or higher. That's where like you'll start to feel the value of ghost because people actually know how to play against TF and don't get solo killed. So you'll you'll be winning lane by pressuring and having priority all the time, but not by solo killing. If that makes sense. Okay. Um, but anyway, that that's far away. We take it one step at a time here. All right, so we'll look at lane first. <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay, now you gotta get, yep, walk all the way up. Okay, okay, okay. So, so first of all, this is like, yeah, I, I understand kind of what you're doing here. You, you don't want to walk up to her because she has the stun. Um, but if you're not going to stun her, then like you, you can, so like you can, okay, so let me show you here. So you see how she's kind of floating in this area right here for a little bit. She 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 walks back and forth between this little area. So what you should be doing is walking at her and then seeing how she responds. If she okay. like so you'd walk at her, you don't react to her walking at you. You'll just like walk to let you'll click this way and then preemptively click back. If you see her buffering her cue on you, which means she like if she just starts walking at you every time you do it, you know that's what she's doing. She's buffering her cue. So okay. you walk you walk at her with a red card. Then turn around, she walks towards you, you throw it at the minion. That's how you yeah. trade here. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know how to play the matchup with Annie, uh, Annie yet because I'm kind of focusing on baiting skill shot, but she has a point and click skill, so right. Okay. Yeah, this is just a this is this is how you uh bait point and click things. Okay, does, that, does all that make sense? Yeah, cool. Because like you want you basically, it's like if you ever find yourself doing this where you're kind of doing nothing, um, you're not using your W, you're not looking to pressure them then you need to like think about it afterwards or go into the VOD and be like, okay, how can I put some kind of pressure or do something to them okay. at this point? Do I need to do something? To the, do I just throw a red card at the wave? You know, got to okay. do something though. Yeah. Um, no. Cause yeah, now that she uses Q, you should be contesting her CS like that. That would go very good. Very good. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Yeah. I'm still uh, very low in processing the information that I have. It's okay. I it's a I lot. I think I do the the I have the good reasoning, but uh, it still take a lot of time, like um, in real time. What did you say? Like you know, in real time, uh, I have a um, I, I have the tendency to overthink things. Mm -hmm. So that's why, uh, as you can see, I, I did what you just said, but like five seconds after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Like that. That's that's part of league. You know, like having to do all of these things consistently. Actually, no, that's part of any game. You know. Even like, you know, like I'm learning fighting games, right? Like it's the same thing yeah. where like I can do the right thing for like 50% of the game because like in real time, it's all happening so fast and I'm not good enough yet to consistently do the things that I know I need to do. Um, but it's okay. Um, one thing though that we should talk about is there's never a world really where Annie should. So if you were doing that thing consistently, that's not like, I'll show you how it can kind of change things. If you were doing this consistently, not only would you be like, harass like getting damage on her and stuff but that she, you got like she cleared this these first six before you did just barely yeah which right should yeah. never happen because it's Annie. Yeah. um so it, just a small thing like that doing it a few times at level one would change this dramatically okay. um but either way it's not that big of a deal for right now <clears throat> okay that's fine yep go with that okay you're ready to hit two okay Okay, so this is a thing I had trouble with for a while, uh, what you're doing right here. So I had trouble, or I was making a mistake I didn't realize where I was almost autopilot, autopiloting my cues. I, uh, let's see, though, what you... Th so when you walk up and use Q like that, what was your reason for that? I wanted to, 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 to take the push. Uh, to take the push. Right. Uh, I didn't plan to, to hit her. Right, exactly. So this is, a, this is what I... I had this exact problem. Um, and I didn't realize it was a problem until I was VOD, uh, VOD reviewing my games. So, because I watched Opa and I realized he would he would not do this unless the, the key is you can cue to like get the push, but you need to be doing it when she's going for CS and trying to hit her too. Okay. My, my, my okay. Makes sense? Yeah. Cool. Because a good player will now contest you. And so all, yeah. the damage you just did to the wave becomes irrelevant because then you can't touch the wave anymore. Because they just yeah. zone you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. You should walk up here. So, like, yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is a. We've talked about this before. This is kind of. Seems like you have some kind of like worry when going against Annie. You're kind of afraid of her for some reason. Um, yeah, I'm not used to this much. Yeah. Why. Yeah, and that's normal. And when just just like in fighting games, if I'm afraid, if I don't understand a matchup and I'm kind of afraid, I know I tend to like walk backwards a lot and not pressure them like I should. Um, it's the same thing here. So, like, look, if this wasn't Annie, 
How many times have we talked about where like <laughs> right? I have been in Evan I should walk up. Yeah, and go this. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so like even if you were VOD reviewing this yourself, you would see this and you'd be like, oh shit, yeah. I should have been contesting yeah. here. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's normal. Um, but yeah, definitely want to be contesting here because she she overstayed for that. You could have uh, done a lot of damage to her right there. Um, okay, yep, ward, ward's good. Probably gonna cue the wave, yeah. Luckily, she keeps getting hit by shit, but... Okay. Q. Okay. Oh, and another thing to realize here. Remember that, like, what summoner they bring really can change things. So, if she has Ignite... You have to be a little bit more careful when trading. Yeah. The fact that she doesn't have ignite really, like, drastically reduces her kill pressure. Yeah. So you should be taking that into tough. account. Yeah. Huck on the wrong side of the lane here is a little dangerous. Oh boy. I wonder. Oh, Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that, 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 that's why. So, so okay, that ward was actually fine, but let me see if you, like what when you put it down because it might have been a time you might have had enough time to put it in the right spot. Let me see. The only time I'll put a ward. Okay, yeah, you you had plenty of time. So, oh wait, you already put it down. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. the only time I'll put a ward just in the brush like this is if like I don't have time because like I'm losing yeah. CS and stuff, but I need to put a ward down because I think they might be there. Yeah, but. We didn't talk about wards yep. yet because you, you, you're yeah, yeah. saying that it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. why we're talking about them now because now you're actually yeah. getting to the point where they could be war. You don't even have to go really deep into wards, just like the most basics. So yeah. if you crash a wave like this or like, you know, where like there's no minions for you to get or anything yeah. like that, you want to take the time to put it right here. Okay. Just um, if, yeah. like I said, like let, let's say there were low CS and stuff, but you, you're like, okay, I'm a little bit afraid of this right now, then you just put right there, just so you're not blind. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, that's the problem with this, is it let the Sejuani get to right here. Wait, no, wait, did we see her? No. Wow, that's actually fucked up. That's so unfortunate. She's literally <laughs> on, on the edge. But that's that's the unfortunate part about that. Um, so yeah. if you were hugging like the, this side, then you'd really be fucked here. <laughs> um, yeah. It's all part of my plan. <laughs> luckily, she, you know, is not, for some reason, she doesn't actually look for this, but um, yeah, so that's like, the, that's like the first layer of wards that you need to worry about. You don't have to worry about anything after that until later. Okay. Wait, what do you have? Yeah, corrupting pot. This kind of shows you as well. So let's say I'm if I'm playing TF here and I have corrupting potion, ignite, and I'm against an Annie with Doran's ring and TP. You got to kind of think about what these two setups mean. Her setup is uh, more sustain. Right, you have more sustain, more kill pressure, like more trading power with yeah. this. That's what this does. She has like the like uh where she wants to almost like trade a bit with you not die and then tp back so if if you aren't using this setup at all in any way like if you're not forcing trades they're contesting her cs because you're afraid of her then yeah. look what's happening it's like she's just coasting through this lane yeah yeah right and we, know, we don't want that my, my tape setup because i'm not used to yep playing against her. completely understandable like i said i i, I do the same thing um, but look, she's getting away with more, more of this stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll s okay. What should be called? Uh, okay. So <laughs> before I even um, before I even see what happens here. So, so when you saw her right here, it's very important though that you like this could get you killed. The 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 path you took could get you killed. Um. Yeah. But. I was kind of confident. You'll see what. And yeah, and that and that's fine. You're like you might, this might work out. Just letting you know. So like, let's say this is um like an Elise. Yeah, uh, I should run down towards Strike. Yeah, because like they they will have so much damage together that it's too dangerous to try to do this. Like that tower won't save you, right? But yeah. um, 
Okay. Footsie? Yeah. Nice. yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, cool. So, like, yeah, and that's great. What, what's great about that is uh, is that, yeah, you, ha you were confident. And like you yep. look, you were calm and it was easy. Yep. That's what's good because that comes with time and that will be really important, especially later on. Um, but what will be more important later is not having to do that at all yeah, because sure. you just do the right path. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Like the, the, yep. the risk is. Uh... Yep. Okay. And now you move to this side. Very good. Push one more wave. There we go. Finally, we hit her. Yeah, I think that's because I know I, I, I want to reset, so that's why I was like, yeah, I, I could take trades, but yeah, I didn't realize that I could uh, have this mindset before. Yep, yeah, 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 no, next time. Oh! Okay, so here here's the issue here. Okay, so you know you wanted a reset at this point, right? Yep. So that means, like, you need to be right here, queuing through the whole thing, and, like, hard pushing right now. Yep. But, like, look, you kind of, like, so, like, now this when you feel like you need to reset, now you hit her. Yeah. You see yeah. how like backwards it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's gonna like make this take too long. Should like should use a red card. And now you're like doing this from back here, but this is gonna make it so you have to stay for another wave. Yeah. So now you should do the same thing. You should be all the way up here, queuing yeah. through the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Now see now. Because if you wait for the wave to get all like together like this, I, now your Q won't hit everything. I don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here you should be fine. You shouldn't even have to flash. Oh, they're griefing. Yeah, that could turn into a kill. Ooh. Okay. This is so. This was good, and it's great that you didn't flash. That's how I know you're confident. Now you just have to take it one more little step because first things first. Like I said earlier. If this was Elise, it's different because she has a lot of damage. But Sejuani doesn't have that much damage. And then take that piece of information and, and put it with this, that she doesn't have Ignite. Right? Yep. So, you'll see here, okay, so she's gonna hit you with this. Okay, that's all Sejuani's damage. Now, all Annie has left is W, right? And then... So, like, look, right here, she, like, she has no stun. So, like, you, you could be autoing her and look to ignite and kill her. You could easily turn this into a kill here. Look how... I mean, okay, ignite does 150 right now. She has 240 left. Uh, yeah, but I saw, I saw Shaco coming on the minimap. So I, I, I thought that she could kill her, and, and he, he will kill her, and it's not worth my time to chase. I don't know, uh, I don't know if it's uh, what I mean is clear. So I, I, I went back uh, straight to the wave and pushed it to reset. Okay, so did you win this game? No. Nope. Did Shaco carry you? No. Nope. No, right? <laughs> I see what you said. Right? right? At the end of the day, yeah. that's what it comes down to. You, if I see the Shaco yeah. here, I'm like, no, like I don't want him to get this. Like I, I okay. want it, okay. right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Because like you did, you did good. You didn't flash, and that the fact that you didn't flash here. So what you could be doing is the because you didn't flash, which was great. You could be trailing her, right? Just waiting for W to come up. And then okay. you flash with blue card, ignite, auto, she's dead. Yeah. So it, you, you did good. It's just to, you just want to take it a little bit further than that. Yeah. Because Annie doesn't have ignite. Um, so, yeah. Good stuff, though. It's still good. Like, you're, you're doing a good job. You just need to... The pieces you're missing so far are not getting afraid of the matchup and still trying to do the same things as always, no matter who it is. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the ward thing, and turning the gank into something a little bit better. But yeah, not, when not. it's a matchup that I know, that's usually what, what I do when they gank, because I, I realize that, like you said all the time, they always want to help when they shouldn't, and mm -hmm. that's why where I, I take a lot of kills. But here with a a Amy, uh, yeah, I, I'm very not used to it, so that's why it's, it's sloppy. Yep. Um, okay, so here you look a little lost. Um, so you push this, and then what were you thinking at this point? I was scanning map. You were I scanning? Was, uh, yeah, uh, I, was the, I was looking at tops, and then I saw that uh, there shouldn't be any kill because she's way too healthy. Yep. But there's nothing, I have nothing to do mm -hmm. but because they're on deck, so I didn't know what to do, that's why I'm going back and forth. Yep, yep. So you got the information, no play bot, no play top, right? So, 
the only play here is mid. That means you need to hard pressure mid. Look, it's Annie. She doesn't have wave clear. Like, you can be damaging the tower here. The only dangerous thing is literally this right here. Because, like, look, you have teammates here. If, if Sejuani's on the top side, which odds are she is considering what you're, like, the vision you have, what, you're, what your teammates are doing, odds are Sejuani is on the top side. Even if she's not, that's why you put this... I just put it well. Yep, okay. you just put this yellow trinket, well, like, right here or over this wall. That would work, too. Yeah. Um, okay. And then you hard pressure mid. Because that's okay. that's the only thing you can do at the time. Um, okay. So yeah. So again, just missing one little final piece of the puzzle here. Uh, because yeah, she's just kind of you know letting Annie do kind of whatever she wants. So like you eventually put this ward here, but needed to do it and yeah. then like start pressure. Yeah. Definitely don't like where we're standing right now though. So like you could see with how much vision you have, she's got to be yeah. up here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, like she's got to be on this side. Um, yeah. Which, yeah, means you should definitely be hugging all that vision. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't like this. <laughs> oh, no, 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 wait. I mean, this could work. It, it could work because you have Ignite. Um, and yep. it's Kennen with a lot of CC. Um, yep. But, I'll be honest with you. If I'm you, I probably wouldn't have made this play. Because I would be too... Like, I mean, look, look how much damage your minions have done already. All right, you can be chucking red cards at this and like poking and like half of TF's game plan, which I'm sure you know, is like, look, you push and then you walk up while they're trying to CS and you throw a Q that hits this choke yep. right down the middle yep. and hits over here. Right. Yep. Yep. Um, and that's like what you need to be doing. That's that's more important than this right here uh, that you can try. Oh, boy. Oh, luckily, she griefed. So. <laughs> Luckily, she mistimed her E because that actually could have turned into something potentially yeah. bad. Um, well, I, 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 I was ready to flash it, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't know if it would be worth it. I don't know. Um, if I, uh... yeah, I mean, it, it was worth it, I would say, but... oh, Yeah, that's worth the flash for sure. That's fine. Let him die. Wow, he's a shutdown. Okay. Um, okay, so not, not too bad so far. The biggest issues for sure is letting this Annie get away with way too much um, and not pressuring mid hard enough. But all right, where are we at? Okay, so a game like this, Merc Treads are in such an insane rush. Uh, oh, now, gosh, yeah. you, you did have enough for Everfrost, which is fine. But I'm just letting you know if you never thought in this game to th even think about like rushing Merc Treads. I kind of thought about it, but when I see that I can finish my my main mm -hmm. main item, I I just take, took it. Yeah, and that's fine. It's just like so if you think about how good movement speed in general is versus Annie and Sejuani and yeah, the tenacity yeah, in the, in the MR, it's just like such a such an insane yeah. purchase. So at this point, this is a rare case where I I rarely tell somebody where they need to be thinking about itemization heavily. Right here, your main goal is to survive long enough right now to get your merc treads and recall right away buy them and then you can go back to playing very uh aggressive and in, in like you know pressuring yeah because yeah. it'll make you I'm much safer. <laughs> right and, and that's why i was saying because like i can see a world here where now that's just 186 that yeah. you could end up kind of in danger and, and die to a gank because you don't have flash yep so that's kind of a higher level concept but you're at the point now where you can start thinking about it you have no right. flash and you know you have no flash, you have no ignite, meaning kill pressure very low, right? Yeah. yeah. So and and you have to think like, okay, and Merc treads are such an insane buy. So I'm going to literally clear waves safely until I can get the Merc treads, and then I'll go back to pressure. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> Stunning because you always stay like twenty or thirty seconds. Before I'm gonna die, what should I have done? To die <laughs> because I've been playing this for a long fucking time, <laughs> a long, long time. I've like been through this process, but like teaching myself, like through trial and error, fucking up these these things so many times that eventually, you know, it, it just. Oh boy. Okay, nice. No, 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 no. Push top. Push top. Okay, okay. Always just push here. Yeah. Um, because like you can just start working on plates and then Kenning can go mid. Okay. You know, cause you're just going to deny allowing stuff. You're going to get plates. Uh, 
But, but it comes to the fact that you always say that mid tower is mm -hmm. the most important one. So I didn't want her to damage it or something. But yeah, it's yes. going to get killed, but yeah. Well, no, that, that's a fine thing to think. Uh, uh, the reason why you don't have to be so afraid of that is because like tower plates are still up. And it's Annie, right? So like she doesn't actually damage this that much. You know, it's like yeah, she, she might get one plate or yeah. something. Yeah, okay. Um, it's different, though, if this was like, you know, a Lucian or... Diana uh, or something. Yeah, yeah. Someone that's really going to shred it. But it's good that you're... Oh, there it is. Yes, sir. Look. Look how hard, you know, like, look how little counterplay you have to that. Yeah, yeah. I can't do anything, yeah. And here's the best part. All you had to... Look, notice how much gold you have. So... If you push yeah. this, reset, got Merc Tread, came back to mid, we're looking real fucking good. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, question, how would Leandre's be this game? Um, oh, yeah. That's another thing. You definitely should go Leandre's if you go over Frost. Yeah. I, I um, Sometimes I, I I go with it, but I don't really know when I should build uh, Leandre or something because, you know, I don't know much about atomization. We didn't talk about it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Uh, if you're going to go Comet, always go Leandre's. Oh, okay. Because the whole play style, that's the whole thing of the play style. It's like you're never going to be proccing Electrocute or anything. And like normally TF has to go Rod of Ages or Everfrog because it has HP. Because he has to get yeah. close. But yeah. with the Leandre's play style and Ghost, you're just chucking Qs that are chunking people and then throwing Rapid Fire Cannon Gold cards. So you're so, you're so far away from anybody. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. you don't need the HP. Um, so yeah, definitely, if you ever go Comet, go Leandre's. Um, but if Electrocute, you can sometimes go over Frost. Uh, but more importantly, like I just said, you pushed this, came back to me with Merc Treads, you would be in such an amazing spot this game. Yeah. It would be perfect. Um, because yeah, you have no counterplay here. Literally. There's none. Nothing you can do. Um, and the issue here is not only were you shut down, but you died at 10 minutes, which means that your death timer's 30 seconds. And now you get the, the Merc trend, sadly. Um, yeah. <laughs> the only, I mean, there is a little bit of counterplay. I, I don't want to say none. Um, so the only counterplay here is this. So first off, after you throw that Q, th okay, this is very high level and I don't expect you to, be able to do this yet, but it's something you can start thinking about. It's like when you know you're in a spot, like right here, you're obviously trying to reset. Or like you're trying yeah. to just push. So yeah. you throw the Q and then you have to go back to the fundamental of you have vision here, hug this side. Because if you saw her here, you can run this way. Yep. But because you're here instead of here, look how it, like this small amount of distance changes this whole thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, a, a high level stuff, a little hard to, for you to do here, but it, it, it could be pretty important and you might think of it later. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. Okay. All right. So you're still in an okay spot. Definitely. Um, hard games come down to doing these small things properly. But. Okay. Your bot lane's fucking smashing, yeah. though. So I don't know yeah. how. Nah, I think it's my mistake on this game. Because I, I, I choose to split push and not to, to go. Because Kennen was splitting. He's, he's playing a, um, AD Kennen. Ah. So, that's why, so that's, that's why I committed on split push. And I think that lost the game, but we'll see. Wait, is this the new rel? Is she changed? Yeah. Okay, wait. But So I just actually kind of want to see what she looks like when she does stuff now. Uh, she, she looks fucking insane. <laughs> okay, let's see. Because her ult seems the same. I look at her damage. Her E is the part that looks different. Uh, passive move twenty moves you while mounted reduced to ten in combat. Rel and an ally charge. Wait. Oh, gaining ramping movement speed up to fifteen percent over three seconds. This is double to thirty towards enemies. Or your ally. Rel's next attack or shattering spike explode. Mm, yeah. For fifty plus four percent max health magic damage. What the fuck is that? Is this the same. Uh, slowed by 10%. I don't remember what the slow was before. All right, let's see what she looks like here. Holy shit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit. Wait, that champ is bonkers. She's like yep. a better Leona. Wow. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, so you came back to mid. You have your Merc Treads now. Oh, you gotta hit her. Okay, so look, so... When you see... So at this point in the game, it's like, yeah, ganks are scarier because, you know, people are higher level, they have more damage. So when you do see openings like this, when Sejuani just dies bot, you should be thinking it's like full-blown party time. Annie, like, you're gonna hit the tower, you're gonna hit her. Like, look, because look how hard she's griefing here in a sec. Look how hard she's trolling. Look at this. Yeah. Like, if you I walk at her too. and Everfrost her, the whole wave hits her. You chunk her. I think she's looking at Botley. Yep. So, yeah, definitely mm. got to punish stuff like that. Q. Very good. All right, you should be looking to kill her here in a sec. Nice. Yeah, good Qs, good Qs. Now get ready. Q the whole wave. No! Okay. Well, even then. <laughs> even then. Yeah, so, okay. Even then, though, like, you're, you're running up here right now. Yep. So, like, first of all, if I'm you... You need to be thinking of it this way. You have a ton of solid pressure in mid right now. You're like about to kill her or force her to back. So if you're going to leave, it's got to be for a really insane reason. Um, and this is so close that like you should be continuing to do what you're doing. And like if she ends up getting away, you can just alt and finish that. Like you, okay. you, you have plenty okay. of time. Yeah. Okay. Um, because yeah, look, you're, you're like... Walking all the way up. If Annie's recalling right now, I'm gonna be depressed. And I think she is. Look how sad. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, gotta keep. You know, don't let them breathe. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh. You hate to see it. Yeah. <laughs> how the hell do you guys lose this game? Cog oh, scale that? into like. Machine? Oh, you'll see. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. She was trying to send a message, it seems. Okay, you see Sejuani? Uh-oh. Hmm, don't like this. Waste a big waste of time. You need to be queuing the wave right now. Because we knew where Sejuani was, so that vision was kind of irrelevant. Um, okay, now queue and reset. You could stay because shit's about... Oh, no. No, we don't like this. Okay, okay. I, I, I like it, but I don't. Because I like that you were thinking about using your alt like this. But you already know where literally everybody is. Yeah, but they didn't. I knew that if I ping, they they wouldn't listen. That's why I used my ult too. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, remember... The... One v night game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that and like... Your alt, you using it like this to try to save them, make sure they don't grieve, first of all, is not going to work every time. That's first issue. Second issue is that is the opportunity cost. That could get yeah. you a kill or gold or or turn a player around. You know, like it's it could do so much more. The way you're, if you're ever going to use that for vision, it's going to be when like Baron's up and you can't face check, stuff like that, like way more important. So yeah, this was the first like really big uh, mistake. I like that you were thinking about it like that. Well, actually, now that you told me the reason, I don't like it. No, so let's not. <laughs> <laughs> she has no ult. You're fine. She actually does a lot of damage. Does yeah. she have her item? She's looting? Yep. And you have yep. Merc Trends and she did that? That's actually fucked up. She could kill you with ult. Yep. Anyway, um... Because, yeah, so what should have happened here, when you saw they were, you know, you knew where they were going. Like, right here, you should be recalling. And if, the, let's say this wave, though, let's say this was, like, right here, then you should be running all the way up to here, showing yourself, like, letting the tower see you. So, because then you can draw them away from this to think they can gank oh, okay. you, but you'd be ready okay. to run this way. Oh, okay. Make yeah, sense? Okay. Yeah. Damn, that's a lot of damage, though. Like, <laughs> that's not... Fair? <laughs> the fuck? Is this game fair? No, this game is <laughs> dog shit. <laughs> um, but, okay, so... Let's see what you have now. Sheen. You're, so you're going into the Lich Bane second. Yep. Okay. Um, yep, Q the wave, Q the wave. Sadly, you have no alt here. You could, If you had alt here, you could just kill him right now. 
Yep. This is what I'm talking about. Yep. Like there's there's the opportunity cost. So And look, your bot lane still fucking died. Yep. <laughs> you see? You, you like you, you you probably heard me in the back of your head thinking like oh boy. Oh god. Sh- no, no, that's not fair. No, 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 no. That is not okay because the what items you have and what she has, that doesn't make any sense. What did they do to this champ? Let's see what she hit you with here. Yeah, she used W though. So she hit you with R and Q? No. What? Dude. Is this game shit? <laughs> she hit you with one with alt and one damaging ability? Wait, did she use E there? No, wait, she didn't. I don't even think you took damage from that. I think it wore off. No way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to see if you took damage from her E. How much does it do? It does 79. So her Q and R through 74 MR and she has magic pen shoes, which like your Merc treads straight up counter magic pen shoes. So that was Q. And that was R, so where the fuck did the rest of the damage come from? I think you did just barely take damage from the E shield, Electrocute, and Tibbers, and Ludens. Nice game. Power creep. Holy fuck. That's disgusting, by the way. That's actually gross. Also, make sure you have your pot running, please. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, um, lesson there this game might be shit. And uh, Annie's busted. And have your potion running. Oh my god, and Tibbers apparently is Thanos and doesn't die. Okay. So, one thing we can see here that's an issue. She is w- winning. Right? Yep. She's out pressuring you. She yep. is... And, oh, actually, that... No, there actually is an important lesson here. So, when you went for this ward... I'm gonna tell you why... This wasn't good. Because... You see how, like, sh- you, neither of you have a wave? Yeah. So what you need to do is, know this is here, so you put this down, see that. Then you walk away, wait for the next wave, get Pryo, l- make her, like, farm the wave, then you'd go for this. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> because, like, do you even know where Sejuani is right now? Nope. Well, so- she wasn't, uh, like, 20 seconds ago, she was in the area, so well, it's very dangerous. Yeah, so, like, if I'm you here, I would actually think she's she's here. I, I would think I'm about to flash over this wall because she she has to be here. Uh, luckily, she wasn't. But, yeah, that's why you don't want to do that. Especially because you are playing TF, right? You're not supposed to be... Like, she does way too much damage, yeah. But you're not even supposed to be able to fight her. Yeah. Because your champions do two different things. Yep. And you're not fed enough. Hi, Sam Blarney. Uh, sorry if I missed anybody in chat. Uh, but, Hello. Good to see everybody. Coaching my protege. He's gonna, he's the chosen one. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, here. Look, look. This is what I'm talking about. See, you see how like you now you have prior. This is uh, when you would go do when, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's like kind of a rule of thumb in general. If you know where any wards are, you're always gonna push first, get prior, so they can't contest you. And so like so like if you're if let's say you were clearing this. And she was farming that wave, and then she just starts running at you. You know, Sejuani's there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> or they're griefing, which is a could easily be the case. Um, oh, okay. I'm gonna do a big, big mistake here. <laughs> oh, if you all here, yeah, oh I'll, no! When she was dead, when Samira died, actually, if she was alive, I think I wish to do something. And I was baited by. Shaco clone. I, I thought that we were, <laughs> uh, we were, uh, we we outnumbered them. So uh, that was stupid of, of me. I think that's where I lost the game. But oh my god, she just fucking face tanks. Holy shit, she literally just dashed in with when they had everything. Okay. So you turn on your alt here, and then yeah. Okay. So here's here's this is one of the most important parts of TF, as you know. Like alt yeah. usage and being able to, these decisions are really hard sometimes. Um, I, I should ult mid and push. So 
you should be looking at it from so when did you actually move this is when it looks like you moved your camera to here yep right okay so i'm going to kind of walk you through how i'd be thinking about this like moment by moment there's like key moments that happen so first you, you see this and you're like okay this is a play i could potentially alt to i'd be doing the same thing next thing that needs to register in your head is that someone's cping and no, that this it. okay yeah so let's say you didn't see that then but yep. Zareth is definitely dead Yep. So, Xerath is dead. So that means now you should be thinking about it. Okay, it's going to be these two and Rel. Now it's full health Sejuani, full health Kog'Maw. Already, you should be lean. It's, it's kind of like the way you should be leaning. Am I leaning towards actually going here or not? Right now, even without seeing Annie here, let's say we don't even see Annie, I still am not thinking about going in here because... Think about it. They must have just used cooldowns to to kill Zareth, and now they are half HP, and these guys are full HP in a pretty good position too. It's not like they're being dove right now. Yeah. Now let's say Samira was in that ass right now. Same with Shaco, and they're all like jumping him. Then it's different, right? Okay. Yeah. So you would be thinking, okay, I might alt in if they overchase, but as of right now, like I'm still going to be walking towards mid. Okay. Um, because okay. the risk is too high. Then, once Annie shows up, this is completely... Even if Shaco's full HP, uh, you know, and, like, you, there, you are never going to fight this at this point. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is, you know, uh, I've been in here a lot, and this might actually be where you lost the game. Oh, no. Okay, okay. And the next part is when things... When did you realize this was a bad play? The moment I appeared. <laughs> right, the moment you like, appeared. Yeah. <laughs> so, after you stun her, just run. Just run this way. Just get the fuck out of here. You can still salvage this. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, at this point I was like, okay, I'm dead. I should, I should just uh, put the mage, but yeah, I can see that. I, I could have lived that way, way easily. Mm -hmm. So, the most important part, obviously, is not TPing here in the first place. Yeah, um, yeah sure. But yeah, you can even you know sometimes when you make this mistake you can still you can still get out. But this is a very big throw. Oh no! And then you still flash. Oh yeah, this is a very very big uh, play for this game because um, deaths in the mid game are the most important deaths um, when you're trying to you know snowball like this. Uh, yeah, this this game will be really tough now. <clears throat> so let's kind of see what we do. And see, like, now, you see how much more damage she does to it because no plates. She's going to take the whole thing off that one death. Yeah, yep. that's... You hate to see it. Okay, yep. you know she should be recalling here, though, so you should be able to do a lot of damage to this. I don't like the way you're standing here, though. Hmm. Okay. Well, your bot lane's still smashing, so you have a lane to play... Oh. Uh. Huh. Okay, okay, we gotta talk about this though. So, first thing is you push this, and then you you understood that this is the lane to play towards. Yep. Um, they're pushing and stuff like that. But, like, while she's farming this, like, look, she used her stun, she used W, you should be hitting this. Because look, we we see Sejuani. Yep. It's like so that's something you should be implementing right away. Whenever in the, at this point of the game, you have these windows where like you know where the jungler is, so you're completely safe to do something. You have to you like abuse that pressure, like that window, and actually do something with it. Okay. Um, here you don't have alt, so there's nothing you can really do. Uh, I know it seems like you were trying to like almost cut Annie off if she did decide yeah, to definitely. do this. And that would be a fine idea if your bot lane was actually looking to pressure this, but they shouldn't be. They should be recalling soon. Yep. Um, and if they overstay, that's their fault. So, like, you need to be thinking about, like, the right play. The right play here is to just pressure mid because you know where Sejuani is. They, they should recall after what they just did, so there's no reason to go here, and you should just be hard pressuring mid. Um, yeah, so, like, this is no good, but, oh, no, you're going to die for it. 
Oh yeah, no good, no no good play there. That was that was not good. <clears throat> um, luckily, you didn't get punished for it, but that could have been a disaster. Okay, no ignite. Sadly, you can't really ult on top of that guy and kill him. I don't think. Not sure. I think Cog got buffs or something in like the items. I'm not sure, but wait, what do you have? You can definitely look to like run up and stun him and chunk him in the run though. But um wait, 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 wait. What happened here? I, I couldn't stop this. Ah, okay, okay. Um so look. So you ran down to here, and then you now look, the next wave is here, and look, this is happening now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so like this is where you know you have a little window here that like and even if this falls, remember tier one side towers are not important like at all. Yeah. Yeah. So it's totally fine if they take this, and if this looks like a good play, and which the information it all comes down to the information you have. That's TF, right? So we know Cog is here. Let's say Cog wasn't just pushing this, the wave was just naturally coming and you're going to collect it, and you don't know where Cog is. Then this play would be like you press R and you scan quickly if the other enemy team is here. But because you know here, you saw Zara there, you saw Kog a second ago, that means you know you can turn this with your ult. And that's, that could have been a big, pretty big play here. Um, you'd, ult, you'd ult right here on top of Annie. Oh, that is just very unfortunate. Yep. So when it comes to, remember at the very start, we talked about, you said, like, uh, making plays. Yeah. Those are the quote-unquote plays that you can make. Quick okay. decisions where, like, you're, you know, that is what, you're using your champion's tools that only TF has to swing that play because you knew where everybody was on the map. Okay. And it still could have went wrong. That still might not have worked, but you, you should live through it. But, like, she might still get one shot. Odds are she wouldn't because you'd stun the Annie to prevent her. But, yeah. Uh, Shaco just, yeah, I mean, want, want, wants to farm till next season. That's disgusting that they're just waltzing down mid and Shaco's farming crugs. No, just keep, keep holding this. Okay. All right. So, let me ask you something here. This is important. Oh, wait. So, right here, as your teammates are coming out of base and the enemy team, they just took these two towers, what are you thinking? If they are extend, we can, we can kill them. Like, you think you should start a fight here? If they stay. Mm -hmm. yeah. If they stay. And why? Because I have nothing more to do. Mm, okay. So, the good... Well, the, the answer is right that you should look to start a fight here. And this is a really... Imp like fundamental part of like league here. So the enemy team, they just made a play in mid lane. They used, they, they used their alts, right? And they haven't, let's see how much gold they have. Look, 2,300 on Sejuani, 1,700 on Annie, but your teammates just died. Look how much gold your team's sitting on. None. Okay. So like, this is, this is what overstaying is, is when like okay. you make a play, you get the gold, then you don't spend it. Okay. So here you should be looking 100% to make a play. Um, and this is this can be your job. Because think about how far the enemy team has to run right now. Yeah. Like you could, this is a play where you could ult to here. Oh, they have a ward there. You, you could ult to here and gold card someone. Uh, you want to let it develop a little bit, but you should be pinging that you do want to fight. You want to go in because they are overstaying big time right now. Okay. Um, and your teammates are on the way. Okay, here they come. Okay, good. You ulted. Yep, ult in. Good. So, oh no. Okay, so I should have stunned the the lot and hold Q one. Yeah, because Kogma was dead. Also, Shaco, that's just this guy. Dude, this game is just <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Okay, anyway, um, yeah, like you should be stunning this guy because, or if you're gonna hit Kog, you should be hitting him and immediately running a straight line right down this way. 
Um, but the important part here is understanding that this fight needs to happen, um, and you have to punish them for this. Okay. Uh, and the and like the reasoning why. But look, you look, you you let them. Like, why were you? Why did you run away? What were you so afraid of after this? Ah, uh, so I think I saw eighty. But uh, yeah, she just used everything and I didn't take that into account. Right, and that's why that was the main thing that I was teaching you here. Um, because if you understand that part, then you know to just be charging full speed ahead right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So now... Yeah, push. Uh, they're griefing? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Why are you why are you moving to the side like this? Uh, I don't want to be ulted by Sage, but once again, she did use it already. <laughs> right. So, so this is well. First piece is the piece I just went over. The second piece is yeah. remember at the start when I said like you're gonna learn to min max your champ uh, yeah. in like limit tests and stuff. Uh, like what well, uh, part of what comes with that is like tracking threats. This is what I meant by like being able to do a lot of damage and not die. You, where if you know if you're tracking your threats and knowing that like they are using everything on them right now and they are a burst. They are three AP champs. They are trying to burst her. If you stun the Annie, prevent the burst from happening, you guys can kill them before they can kill you. Yeah. But you're playing too scared, even though you're not the focus here. Yeah. You should have been. Okay running straight towards them because you know you need to be in range to throw that gold card and then you, and then Samira resets and kills everybody. But you see, like, they kind of just... Look. That was all because, sadly, that was actually all your fault. Um, so, yeah, you need to be tracking threats here, understanding how important it is that you get this gold card off as fast as possible. Uh, <laughs> Too much... Too much things to think about. Yeah, a lot of things. A lot of things. Um, it's much easier though when you're against champions like Annie, Sejuani, and Zareth because the, you know Ooh, the, they have to use everything. Mark. You know, they just have like a rotation and then it's down, right? So <laughs> if they're using everything on Samira, then you know you're safe. But if it's like uh, an ADC or, or uh, Irelia or you know champs that don't really have cooldowns, then it gets a little bit trickier. Uh, spawns. Thanks for the, thanks for the thirty-four months. You fucking nerd. Uh. Oh, she TP'd. Okay. Nice. Uh, double TP. There was an E and uh, <laughs> Eloy. <laughs> ah, I see. Um. Okay. So next thing is after this play happened, you push this. Okay. So you only have two options here. You either continue to push this. Like to like push it as far as you can and then reset, or you reset now. If it's too dangerous to do that. But okay, by not resetting here, I can't unpack the map. I don't have enough health, health to to help or to do anything. Yeah, right. Because like you need a recall here to get your lich bane to get more HP, and so the time you're using to go from here to here is the time that it would take to just recall and run back, right? Like so, because now you're going to run to here to here and then recall. Think about how much time that takes. It's a huge tempo yeah, drop. Sure. And they're doing dragon right now. So they are actually... Okay, so this is why I've said for a long time that like dragon is always a tempo drop because this is a perfect example of what, what that means. So if we look at them, if they're trying to do dragon, that means this time right here that they could be using to recall and get back out on the map, they're using to do this, meaning you can recall and get back out on the map, and then they do the dragon and have to recall. So you're out like pushing mid, Okay. As they are recalling. Yeah. That's why it's so important that you play this little piece properly as someone like T. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> it's going to be very rare that you run from one lane to the next like this if you need a reset. I mean, it's actually like never going to happen. Uh, you only run from one lane to the next if you don't need a recall at all. Okay. Boom. Okay. So now you have to recall, then they're going to push mid. Now the map's dark. Bad situation. Oh, they're bot. Push, uh, ping, uh, fucking Baron. Push mid and go to Baron. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, okay, 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 okay. So look, you see three down here, right? Yeah. You see three but down here. Does. But she does a lot of damage. 
she does a lot of damage? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she does. But you have stopwatch, and you can kite her. So, you see this, so you should be, like, you should be walking at her, like, kind of baiting her into running at you. So you ever frost her, uh, and then as your rel gets in here, you never really have to do anything dangerous here. You can let, you can just kind of dangle the carrot a bit, and then rel engages, and then you'll go in. Okay. Um, or, like, you can ping now. You could be pinging now to, to go. Okay. But this is definitely, like, did you see this play, or, or what, what were you thinking? No, I didn't see it, then. Okay. I think I didn't see, so that's why I went away. Okay, yeah, this this is an important play, too. A pick at this point, 21 minutes. The fact that, look, we just saw, look, look what we saw. We know she's down here. So think about what happens if you kill their mid laner here. That gets you one of two most important objectives in the game. Baron or mid tier one. You get one of them, yeah. if not both. Yeah. So yeah. this play okay. definitely needed to happen. And she was in the right spot. She should have pinged it. You should have known. Uh, uh, yeah. Now she got away. Look, not only did she get away, but she got mid prio too. Yeah. Yeah, no good. Just because a, a, a lot. Remember, the first piece of this was you had information knowing she was alone. Yeah. Okay. That, that was the most important part. Mm, yeah, she has she has perma prio. Oh boy, this is danger. Okay, so you did this again, and um, like we talked about before, this is this is good when it's a more dangerous scenario to face check. But you know they can't be on Baron. Um, so why did you all here? Because I wanted to rejoin and kill any I think. Okay, so you you alted, then you saw people were behind her, and then you didn't yeah. make the play. Yeah. Um. Okay, so now let's look at it. Uh, I don't know if I... I don't know if I... No, I didn't do the play, I think. So, why did you not go in? Because my teammate was running away. Well, running away. Okay, so Annie... One thing here, remember, she does have magic pen shoes. So that means she doesn't have merc treads. Uh, so your gold card would be... Ma like, you're at max stun here. That's a whole two seconds. So if you did alt in here, stunned her... She dies. She dies, and then uh, we're in the same scenario as before, where you either get mid tier one and Baron, or, or you know, or both. But it's it's like you had the right idea, you just got a little too scared, I think. Yep. Um, because like let's say this was a Janna, then this is a little bit understandable, like not wanting to go in because like, what can she do really? Or, or you know, she doesn't have that much follow up. But I mean, this is an engaged support. Yeah. Okay. So you stun her, she engages. Samira could even maybe just go in and one shot her. Like that's a squishy Annie. She's yeah. she's full damage. Um so that play should have happened. Oh, and another play even opened up at the same time. Look. So Annie should have been the, 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 the play. And then right here, look, Zareth is dead. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Like, it's just these two. So yeah. Definitely need to make this play. You you almost had the right idea. This yeah, this is the next option. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh no no. Wait. Did you even have anything to buy? No. Not really. Nothing important here. Okay. So the reason why you don't do this, because like now that you're at 22 minutes, you spending this like 900 gold here, it's like the value of whatever you're going to buy here with 900 gold can't be more than the, the tempo loss for the recall. Okay. Yeah. Um, because now you're going to let Alawi push this wave, right? Like she's going to be able to push. Yep. See, like this shouldn't happen. Um, and because she gets to push that, like, look, look how, how everything changes. Now you have to catch this. This is all dark. Uh, yeah. And this is a real like threat at this point. Uh, yeah. Now she's in there. She has so much control now over this area. Whereas if you pushed it, it'd be the other way around. Mm -hmm, now this is happening. Oh boy, they are trolling though. Oh god, oh god, careful. Oh god, it's allow you fucking... Oh! Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. Oh god, scary shit. Okay, um... Uh... Heal? No? Next year? Okay. Use that next time. Um, 
Okay, this is a little, a little scary just because... Oh, no, no, Annie didn't rotate. Okay, cool. Then you should be taking this whole thing. Okay, you, you, you should you should take this whole thing. You have plenty of time. Okay. Cog's okay. dead. Uh, Sazwani's not even a threat. Neither is Alawi, really. Yeah, this should be taken. And you saw where Annie was. Yeah. Oh, I mean, see, then you stayed to take this way. Oh, look, look, so now you're staying, which... Yeah, yeah no, I stayed because I, I had my ult. I think it wasn't for the, the right reason. Okay, let's see how. How did you guys lose this game? This game should be over. I think it's on me. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Annie went bot and now she TP'd to mid. Now you ulted. Okay, so now you have information here. You see this, you see this. You see this. Yeah, it's a little tricky. This is really tricky. Um, But, I mean, it's almost... Hmm. So... Wait, where's Tibbers? Fucking Tibbers. Okay. Um, yeah, these are the these are actually okay. Okay, this is an important lesson. This scenario right here, no matter how you could be the best player in the world, there is no way to consistently make this scenario turn out good because there's too many random factors to to take into account. Smite, you know, uh, if your teammates all turn or if half of them don't, you know what I mean? Like there's there's too yeah. much. Yeah. So your goal is like. To make the right plays elsewhere so these scenarios don't matter and don't happen very often. Okay, yeah. Um, and a, back so, to tempo, yeah. Right, like, so tempo stuff or, like, making a pick. If you make a pick, then this, is, this isn't, this is you know, right. yeah. Annie, if, like, Annie's dead here, this is free. Uh, but, th yeah, this is a really tricky scenario. Um, so with this ult, if I were you, I would ult to here and start pushing it. Oh, boy. Okay, they got off of it. Though. Is Annie? I mean, the one thing we can give her that she's doing a good job of is like she is pushing mid first every time. Most Annie players don't do that, so she's doing her job. So, like, if I'm you right here, look, look, okay, you got to start doing this too because you have it's okay to want to side lane, but remember that everything stems from this right here, mid lane. So you should come down mid here first every time because uh, there's no difference uh, in terms of like travel time really if you go from base to here and then go up here or from base all the way to here. Okay. Right? So like you should go down mid first to help them get prio. Look, look how hard it is for Samira to get prio over like a mage. She can't hit all of the minions at once safely like you can. Yeah. Okay. So it lets you be here in case shit hits the fan or in case someone overstays like this. You could be flashing on her because look how close you are to your base compared to uh, the enemy base. Look, look how overextended she is. Yeah. Yeah, she could have died a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So you should be coming out of base right through here. Flash in. You guys would just jump her, kill her. Now you have a pick. Now Baron is a very, very real threat and you guys are looking good. So there's like a lot of opportunities here that you can only yeah. see if you have the fundamental understanding of macro and like the th like we talked about earlier where they overstayed or here how she's yeah. closer to your base than their base yeah um and you should be going down mid and then go to top uh because okay you'll yeah. see it's very rare if i'm playing tf that i go straight from base to a side lane unless the wave is already at the tower so i have to get there right away okay otherwise it's mid first and then i'll branch off to a side lane okay Alright, this is a really scary scenario because they have mid-prio and dragons coming up and you know your teammates are going to grief, so you should be pinging to do Baron. Yeah, yeah, so obviously you can't control your teammates. You could ping Baron here 50 times and they would still ignore you, but always attempt to at least. Just just ping Baron. Okay. <clears throat> oh shit, they TP'd? Jesus Christ, yeah, I feel like they have no. TP's every two seconds. Ah, okay. Another example here of like fundamental macro understanding. Look, she TP'd and then we saw Cog. What do you have here? Because you push this. Yeah. Tempo advantage, right? Yeah. So yeah. if we think about look, look, just look where everybody is gonna be on the map right now. Look, look, look. You should know here that look, look how overextended the Sejuani is here. Yeah. Like you got, like, she is all the way here, like, deep in your jungle where 
you can stun her. Shaco's here. Like the, these guys are here. And like, look, look, you. This is what a tempo advantage is, right here. Literally, you are here yep. before him. Yep. So, and these are small things that like make a very, very big difference. In, in, and this is how you punish like this elo not understanding the game they don't she isn't respecting the the small tempo advantage you have here okay um and so like yeah, that's how you need to be thinking like if i'm playing tf the biggest thing for me uh that i learned over the years that like really will be let me make plays reliably is how well i'm tracking everybody because like you know you're you're not a champ that's supposed to be one v one people in side lanes so all of your mental is put into tracking where everybody is at all times at this point okay. in the game. Um, okay, so now let's go top, get a tempo advantage. Okay, now you're, you're doing the dance here. This, this is not what you want. Yeah. So, like, now everything's even. Right? Looks okay. so like, and, and who controls this area right now? Yeah, them. Them. So, and how do you get them out of here? Well, push waves. So, right. they, they, they have to. To Espen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're either going to show up right here, right now, uh, and if they don't, then like you push this and make them respond to this, and then like you see, it's kind of like a a process that you're going to be doing over and over. Push, look to use the tempo advantage to make a play. Sometimes there won't be a play, and then rinse and repeat until they because they will make okay. mistakes. Okay. Um, because they don't know this stuff. So as we can see, they are going to respond to this. You should ping them off, or you should be looking to potentially alt here. Okay, now you'll get this, push, and then they will respond to you. Oh, okay, you should be running straight to here. Okay, okay. So, as you're getting a tempo advantage here, you need to see... So, like, if I'm you and I'm pushing this, all I'm doing is, like, I'm 90% I'm looking at the minimap, 10% looking at my champ, just throwing Q and pressing W. Okay. So, when you see this, it's like, oh, shit, like, someone, like, Annie's griefing in mid, my teammates are all set up, like, you immediately you run towards this and all. Uh, because getting a pick right now is just too important. I mean, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, no. No. Because uh, this fucking ding-dong... Oh, she actually did end up selling her uh, armor shoes for Merc Treads. And she had a Hex Drinker and Annie exploded her? <laughs> is this game shit? I mean, she did grieve, but... And look, so, like, see, you should be here. This, this is, like, the moment you guys could have, like, kind of blown open this game. Uh, because, yeah, you should already be ulting in here. Because if you stun her, then she dies before she damages anybody. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Everything makes sense yeah, here? It's, yeah, it's the same, same scenario. The, the same story repeating over and over again. Well, it, it's not it's not really, no. You're progressing a lot, actually. It, it's not that. These These are the harder things now. Because yeah. now, now you have to understand tempo. Now you have to understand, uh, like tracking everybody and being able to quickly digest all the information you just got based yeah. off where everybody is and, and make a decision. That's that's the harder yeah. part of the game. Yeah, the harder part is quickly, I think, because right. when I look at it, or when uh, like ten seconds last I was, oh, I should have ult. We could have done something, but the, right. these five ten seconds, uh, I don't know how to, to to work on that yet. Yeah. So. Well, that's why I'm I'm really emphasizing the it's all about so okay, let me walk you through. So if if I'm you here, I'm pushing and all I'm doing is looking at the minimap. Push looking to push. Okay, boom. You have more inf you have information now. We know where everybody is right now. We we just saw them all. Like yeah. Cog here, Annie here. Those are the main threats. And Zareth there too. And we know and look, Sejuani there too. Okay, and then you can see that you have a lot of pressure down here. So odds are someone is going there. Prob probably a Lowy. So once you saw this and where your teammates are, look, I mean, there's no one in sight. So it needs to be immediate. That person's way out of position. This is what TF alt is like, you know, made for. Yeah. So it, it's about switching beats. Like, like I said, 90% of your mental and thoughts and, and like focus should be on where everybody is and looking at the minimap. Ten percent is on pushing this wave. Okay. 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 Because okay. um, if you have all the information and then something happens like this, where it's like, oh, I know where everybody is, and now this person's way out of position, sticking out like a sore thumb, then you can 
quickly make this. It's, you know, it's not even a, a hard play to make. But if you are reacting, if you don't know where everybody is, and you're kind of just reacting to what you see in the moment, it's a little bit more difficult, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, hmm. This doesn't seem fair at all. Excuse me? Hmm, guess we just don't take damage anymore. I guess we don't take... Okay, let's see how much MR she has. Hmm. Interesting. She has no Merc Treads, 98 MR... A full uh, a full tank items takes no damage and somehow does that much damage to you when you have Everfrost and Merc Treads. This game very well might be dog shit. Because what the hell is that? And she's a level down. Like, I, I, ah, this game is shit. Okay, but more importantly, you can see here how there has been multiple plays that could be game changing yeah. for you yeah. here. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. kind of just missed out on all of them. Um, and like I said, it, it's all about finding that sweet spot. I've been through this like exact process uh, of not alting enough, alting too much, forcing. Um... <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well, that's the issue with that. Okay, so right here. So after you came out of here. Um... But that wasn't too well to wall and flat it. Well, okay, no, okay, never mind. I, now that I re-see it, the, I can't really expect you to be able... This is a very tricky play. I can't believe he could catch you here after flashing. That's fucked up. Um, but look, here, here's a great example, though, of, like, this play right here. You see how you're making this as, you, as your bot lane's dead? This is, like, a... This play is a play that will, like, get you some kills, but odds are doesn't turn into something huge. Yeah. 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 Um, and it, it's almost like. It's like this play gets you gold, but the other plays that we missed get you things that will actually lead to ending the game. Objectives. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, trading one for one here obviously is nowhere near worth it. Use your flash, ignite, stopwatch, all of that for one, one kill. That isn't going to lead to. And it shouldn't lead to anything. Uh, yeah. but mid tier one still hasn't fallen god damn it and now you're dead and you have to watch your teammates go through this oh boy oh enemy team isn't going to contest they, they realize too late where the fuck is Sejuani I'd love to know wait <laughs> ah, far farming Krugs <laughs> classic so that's as you can see that's like kind of the elo you're at still. So like, even though, you know, you are getting there, you're climbing slowly here. I mean, actually quickly, you're climbing quickly. You're almost in diamond. Look, p players are still clueless. <laughs> they, they yeah. st like, this is an insane mistake from Sichuan. The fact that she's farming Krugs at 30 minutes when it's very, this is a very obvious barren window. Uh, and now your teammates are all gonna die and you're not alive. You have to watch them all die. Damage her. Yeah, this is where the game. Nice. Wait, if you had um Leandris though, you actually probably would do a lot more damage there. Yeah. So. Wait. I did. <laughs> okay, I didn't we see take these. any on the. Yeah. Oh! Nah, I, didn't bother. <laughs> I didn't. Wait, see she had banshees. It's because she has banshees. I think she has to. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because when you ulted, I looked at the mini map too. Yeah, I see him, but okay, that's actually kind of fucked up. Wait, that's actually so fucked up. Luckily, this didn't isn't why you lost the game, but like, how oh, messed no, yeah. up is it that you ulted to blue? She doesn't even know you're here. She's just going to the blue buff, and her banshees made it so you didn't. <laughs> really? That actually made me lost for that. That's just yeah. That's just like okay, fuck this game, and that damage is still extremely high. That's doesn't even have void staff. So what sucks is, so I want you to see something here. On top of all like the, the plays you've missed out on, notice who the enemy carry is this game. Annie, uh, right? Uh, yeah, mid lane, yeah. And this Annie got to coast through mid lane, the entire laning phase. Look how yeah. important that is to not let them do that. 
Yeah, I was gonna say that it's it's really not like that because I'm stomping on them. But this one, I was gonna let her do whatever she wanted, and that that ended in this. Yep, it just kind of reinforces how important it is, you know. To to that's why you can see why the things I've been teaching you, why like we couldn't go past that point until look because like, this is really the most important thing at the end of the day, laning phase consistently yeah. playing through laning phase and making sure you put them down a little bit is so important. Yeah. That's a pretty good um, Okay, so actually, this is a perfect place to, to stop it because at this yeah, point, yeah. tons of ways yeah, that you could have come back. Yeah. Um, but so did everything make sense in the in the VOD? Yeah, sure. I, I have to, to work on my little windows of tempo. Yeah, little windows of tempo. And look, that applies. Look, let's just go to here real fast. That applies, uh, like you can think about that in multiple ways. So, so right here. Remember what we talked about? It, this is where the control word. Oh no, no. Okay, well, remember that time there was that control word here. Yeah. So when you clear the way before her, you have like a five-second tempo advantage. Like those five seconds are what you're using to clear this. Everything in this game comes down to that. So, it applies in the early game. Mid game, late game, it applies everywhere. And your job, and that's why it's so important that you're pushing nonstop. It just gives you windows to make plays all the time. Yeah. Um, uh, and, uh, okay, yeah, I'm not going to recap everything because we talked about a lot, but you have the yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> of the stream. So, um, yeah, thanks a lot. I have a lot, of, uh, a lot to ingest, so mm -hmm. I'm going to work on that. Yeah, but you're looking good. Like you, nice. like the ganks and stuff. Like you were very comfortable with the ganks. Like I said, you know there were better plays to play it, but you, you're like I'm pressuring, surviving the ganks. Yeah, yeah, not panicking. As you can see, it kind of just comes with time and practice, getting used to being ganked. Yeah, I'm uh, getting used to it a lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, uh, anything else? No, very good. Thank you very much. Yep, no problem. Then I will see you uh, next time. Yeah. Thank All right, you. man. Have a good one. Peace. You too. Okay. All right. Hopefully that was uh, informative for everybody. My man uh, Silo has gone from gold four to platinum two. What a beast.